Hey everybody, it's July, can you believe it? Okay, I have um, kind of a chatty video for you today. This might get a little bit like crazy long. Um, it's gonna be kind of a collaboration of a couple different types of videos. Uh, I just decided I'd throw them all together. First up, for the month of June, I was very good and I kept <laughs> All the layouts I created together in one spot, except for the couple that are for design teams for next month. So these are all of my June layouts. I'm going to flip through them for you. Included in this is the two layouts I created with my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to add to my kit, because remember we're doing the mega summer kit and I made it more mega for this month. Um, and then I'm going to show you the couple of collections and kits I'm going to be working with during July. I know I usually take 10, but this month I've decided to take way less because I have my mega summer kit that I really, really, really want to make more layouts with. And I'm more in the mood right now to kill stuff and like use it completely. So 10 is too many. So I cut it down to way less so I can really kill and use a bunch of some of these kits that I pulled out. Okay, so another thing you guys need to know, I have stepped down from the scrapbooking store design team. I know I always do an unboxing and stuff at the beginning of the month, so I wanted to kind of throw that information out there for you. I have nothing against them. I love them. I adore them. I'm just too busy and I really want to focus more on um, getting videos up for my members and yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff happening uh, coming down through the pipeline and, and I just decided that I needed to step down from a design team. I might need to step down for, I might need to step down from one or two more. But for now, I think I'm good. Let's get through these layers because there's lots of them. So this one was for one of my Laura sketches reimagined. This is has a video and it this is fairly new. Kind of is gonna start with the new ones and go to the old ones. That's just how it worked. Um, and there is a video for this one. It's up there. This was my shimmers project for this week. There is not a video for this one, but there is a whole tutorial over on the Shimmers blog uh, with lots of photographs showing exactly how I created this painted shimmery background on my project. And I used Ulta News new collection. Um, I think it's called Wildflower. I wanna say that's what it's called. This was one of the layouts that I did with my members during the months of March, April. Well, March, April, May, June. We are doing lots of stamping, a whole stamping class. So this layout was created using no pattern paper, just white cardstock and stamps and ink. You'll see there's another one of those. So this is another one that I created just for the members. And same thing, just white cardstock, ink, and stamps. This is the third one I created with my members this month. This one includes a pattern paper and some sequins, but the rest of this layout was done with stamps and ink. This was one of my creative memory, or not creative memories, oh my gosh, I can't talk. Cherry on top. This was created for one of my cherry on top projects this month. Um, I have a video for this showing exactly everything I used, including all of this beautiful Minte paper. Minte is something you're gonna see coming up lots and lots on my channel, even in July, because I'm just, I, I really wanna use more of it. I have more page ideas I wanna use, so we're gonna go with that. This one is for the collab, that collaboration that I did with Rebecca Lockhart. You can find the video and the whole story behind this layout on my channel during the month of June, it was up earlier this month. This was one of my paper person pick five. 
Um, I am going to, this is another collection that I still have lots of projects and things I want to scrapbook about. So this is, this collection is also going to come into July. This one was for one of my Laura Whitaker's sketches reimagined layout. And this was the other one. Yay. So this, um, event in my 2018 scrapbook, which is eight and a half by 11 is finished. Yay. And then I can put those right into the album. This one is a heritage layout that I did with there's, um, the videos on my channel. It's also over on the cherry on tops channel. And I did a whole tutorial on how I made this super textured distressed paper. This was one I did with my members for our stamping class. This one was for Rebecca's hop. I think that was this month. It was in June, I think. Um, there's a video for this one and I used um, Pink Fresh Studios Happy Blooms collection. This was another Laura Sketches Reimagined. Hold on a second, Andre has something to say. Next layout is was for one of my Laura Whitaker sketches reimagined. I used Pink Fresh Studios Happy Blooms, and this is a cut file from Cut to You. Next up is this tutorial. Okay, so I am in love with these flat shakers. They're so, so cool. I just, I love them a lot. Probably gonna be seeing more of these coming up on my channel just because they're super fun and they're not bulky and they're awesome. This was one of my cut to you projects for June. This one went up not too long ago. There is a um, tutorial or a video for this one, but I used this cut file in kind of an interesting and different way. This one was for uh, my members. Lots of flares from Scrap and Heavy Studio and Dottie About You. Lots of stamping, of course. This is one of my Shimmers Paints design team projects. This one is the one that uses my How to Kill a Kit with Style, one of the two layouts I finished with my kit for June. Love this one. This also uses the color kit for um, June, which I just, I love it. I love those colors. This was the second layout I did using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for June. Um, lots of fun flair from Scrap and Happy Studio. And I really just love how this turned out. This layout is super, super cute. This was my second paper or my first paper person pick five layout for June using the June kit. Love this one. I think it turned out really, really good. I love how the colors play against my nephews and it's really sweet. And then this one, it uses um, Happy Blooms from Pink Fresh Studio. This was the uh, my layout for our hop, for um, a cherry on top. We have one at the first of every month, which means my July hop video came, went up this morning. So you might wanna check that out. Altogether, I did 21 12 by 12 layouts. That doesn't include traveler's notebook spreads, um, cards, anything like that. And for the traveler's notebook spreads, you can definitely find those on my channel. Okay, let's look at the kit. So I did two layouts. I did 21 layouts total for the month of June. And two of them used my How to Kill a Kit with Style. We're going to do more uh, of that this month <laughs> because my kit for the month of July is going to be my main kit. If what I'm doing doesn't require a design team, papers or whatever, then this is what we're using. So I still, I only have one of these left. I'm actually thinking I might just make a card or something. Um, I still have these flares. I still have my epoxy flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. I still have my little die cut. Um, I still have some of these die cuts, although I did use a ton of die cuts. So I will, I'm adding die cuts to the kit. Um, I still have a lot of this, but I'm telling you what, I am flying through this six by six paper pad. I love it so much. I have used some of the 
some assemblage require products that I had in my kit. I used a whole sheet of paper. Woohoo, go me. And I still have some scraps here. And most of the papers I um, are still here. I didn't really use a lot of the papers. Um, just a couple. And I used one for a background. Okay, so I am bulking this kit up big time because, like I said, I want to use it during the month of July, like as my primary thing. I am limiting my supplies for July way down because I really want to use up and get some of this product onto pages. And usually I pick 10 and then I kind of use a little here and a little there from all 10 collections. This month we are going way down on that. Okay, so what am I choosing? What am I pulling together here? So, I'm going to start with this pile, and then we'll come back to this pile. Okay, I'm going to add the 6x8 paper pad from Amy Tangerine. Um, this is a picnic in the park. So, lots and lots of fun patterns and colors. I also have some of this in digital, which I printed out to add to this kit. I'm going to add these enamel dots from Ulta New because I did use up the entire collection of enamel dots that I had in the kit. So we're gonna add some to that. Papers, I am going summer, right? So I have Amy Tangerine Stay Sweet. This is the Eyes on You pattern. And then I have this one, which is also from Amy Tangerine, Stay Sweet. This one is called Summer Slices. Um, I think these are all Amy Tangerine papers. This one is from Stay Sweet. It's called Flights of Fancy. This one is from Shine On, and it is called Flourish. Oh, I have to cut that out next paper is from slice of life okay so the next like two papers are from slice of life this one is called my cupcake because i still have the cupcake and the sprinkle paper in the main in the other part of the kit so i'm going to use this all of july and probably all of august too that's why i bulked it up really big this is called full bloom this is from amy tangerine's slice of life Pink First Studio. This is from the Keeping It Real collection, and this is called A Little Chaos. And then this one is from Heidi Swap's Carefree. It has these little, like, sketchy um, rainbows on one side and then the clouds on the other. Then I am adding two packages of sequins. So these are new July release sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. This one's called a carnation bouquet and this one is called skylight so so cute we might do another flat shaker with one of those maybe Let's see how my inspiration finds me and then i have a whole bunch of hybrid stuff that i printed out that we are going to use this month so um these are flowers and die cuts that I put onto an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of paper and printed on my printer and then fussy cut. Uh, this month, our, my last hybrid boot camp talks about how to go about printing your digital products, how to get sheets of die cuts to print and things like that. So exactly what I did in that video on my phone, that's what I did to get these die cuts and then also these. So these are, a mix and match mixture of basic grays, Grand Bazaar, and knee highs and bow ties. So I went through all of the die cut images that I had. I picked and choose exactly what I wanted to print and use this month to match everything else. Then I have all these papers. Okay, so these are single-sided. They're on heavy cardstock. If I can remember what collection they come from, I'll tell you, but 
I might not be able to remember, but I'm not sure exactly. Let me see if I can get, get rid of the shadow there. There we go. Um, this is from Basic Gray Knee Highs and Bow Ties. This is from Basic Gray Knee Highs and Bow Ties. I think the first couple are. I'll tell you when I think we change. Okay, so this, yes, yes, these four are from Knee Highs and Bow Ties. And then this one is Grand Bazaar. This one is Grand Bazaar. This one is Grand Bazaar, I think, I think. Uh, this one I know for sure is Grand Bazaar. And I think this one is Grand Bazaar. And then this one is from a digital collection called Island Escape from Adrian Lohman. This one is um, Island Escape from Adrian Lohman. So is this one, look at this one. I'm gonna have so much fun like cutting this cute, especially this bear, like look at that bear. How crazy adorable is he? And then the last two I printed out were both from Amy Tangerine's Picnic in a Park. I thought this would work well for some extra embellishment. This is a gorgeous purple background that matches. Um, this one is gonna be probably um, for a background. Not a background, I'm probably gonna cut this apart. So that is my mega summer kit. This kit is ginormous. I mean, ginormous, right? And that's okay. It will all make sense when I show you how I'm going to not use a ton of supplies this month, but I'm going to use a ton of this kit. Okay. Set that aside and let's talk about what else I'm going to play with this month. In addition to my How to Kill a Kit with Style, I'm going to have some beautiful watermelon sugar layouts coming to my channel. Um, if you haven't seen it, I have an unboxing and the layouts that go with watermelon sugar will start popping onto my channel. During July, I am guest designing for Click International during the month of July using that kit. Then I have grabbed both of my paper person kits. This is the May kit. I'm gonna keep using it because I, I said this in my one video, there are still stories I wanna tell with this kit, specific stories, and I wanna get them recorded and done. And so the easiest way to do that is to just keep it here on my desk and use it. I am going to be also using my June uh, paper person kit. Here it is, ready to go. I didn't um, buy any like extra papers or anything. I just bought um, one extra stamp set. And we're gonna play with that one. And then my Minte kit. I am still loving this. I am still adoring it. I still have more stories, more pages I wanna do. So we're just gonna keep going on with that. But that's it. So I literally halved the amount of product I set aside for the month of July. And um, I'm excited because I really wanna get into this kit. All right, thank you for sticking with me through all of this July product information. <laughs> and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.